just get stronger, the redox. Uh, so I, I did a video and I said, you know, uh, you need to just get stronger. For the majority of people, you're not so advanced that you need all these fancy things. If you just get stronger, it'll make you a better athlete. Um, and that's really true for a lot of people. I, you need to realize something. Um, most athletes are not elite level power lifters. So when you're a hockey player or an MMA fighter, uh, you're probably actually still a beginner or intermediate level of, of, of strength and things like that. This is not uh, world's strongest man competitors or you know, uh, the world championship of, uh, of powerlifting or weightlifting, right? So most athletes just get stronger. Like it really is that simple for the majority of sports, especially for those of you who are, you know, in high school, just embrace it. Puberty is fantastic. Start lifting weights. You'll pack on muscle very quickly and it'll make you a better athlete because you're going to be bigger, you're going to be stronger, and it'll actually make you faster. Don't get me wrong. If you're Usain Bolt and you're running a 9.5 and, uh, you know, you're insanely fast, maybe getting stronger might actually make you slower because you might gain some muscle, which means you're going to gain some weight. And when you're running that fast, you know, a couple pounds could make a difference. So, you know, at the extreme, no, it doesn't work. But for like 90% of people, 90%, it probably will work. Now, why is this the redox? Well, I'm going to talk about something specific here. And I'm going to refer to boxing of all things, because I used to box and I wrestled and I did MMA and I did all these other things. Um, I watched the movie Creed 3, which was awful. But this isn't a movie review. Anyways, one of the things that I couldn't help but laugh at was this whole idea that, oh, it's not about power. It's not about strength. It's all about control. And, you know, somehow you're going to skill your way to, to winning. And that may be true if you're Floyd Mayweather, because you can't fucking hit him. So if you're Floyd Mayweather, um, you know, then you don't even need strength because it doesn't matter. Uh, for Floyd, you can't fucking hit the guy. Um, and so even if he just tapped you, he will tap you a thousand times. Um, and so you can't hit him, but he can hit you. Now for the rest of us, especially those of you who are MMA fighters and amateur fighters and things like that, uh, getting stronger and being more powerful will make the difference. Now, I've openly admitted that I had a losing record. I'm not trying to, to pass myself off as being some great fighter. I'm not, but I actually have done it, which sets me apart from a lot of people because a lot of people talk about fighting and they talk about these things, but they've never actually stepped into a ring. Uh, they've never got their ass kicked and uh, so, you know, congratulations on never actually being in a fight. Every man thinks he can fight. You know, you talk to guys and they're like, yeah, I could fight. And it's like, when was the last time you were in a fight? High school? Right. So for some of us, though, we actually put our ass on the line and stepped into a ring with someone who was also a very skilled and, and trained fighter. And uh, you may win. I won. And you may lose. I also lost. Uh, I even did a valet Tudo fight once, which was a really bad idea. Um, had no idea how bad that was going to be so once you take the rules out and and you know more things are allowed the fight becomes very violent um and i won i won and then i went straight to the emergency room because i had broken bones and my knee was all trashed and uh, i needed stitches and it was it was great so i i won that fight uh but i sure as shit didn't look like i won so Anyways, the point being here, what's the deal? Why is he saying just get stronger? Well, I assure you, if you just get stronger in a sport like boxing or MMA, uh, I'm rather confident that I was never knocked out by someone who is weaker than me. When I got my ass handed to me and someone knocked me out, then that's because that person was way more powerful than I was. Now, don't get me wrong. Uh, there were fights that I lost by decision. That sucks. But I'll tell you what's funny about that is that the fights that I lost by decision, I really didn't take a lot of damage. It was just a matter of the fact that the, uh, you know, the other guy just, he was very skilled. I had a hard time hitting him and uh, he landed more punches, kicks, etc. And so I lost by decision, but I wasn't beat up. There are fights that I won where I looked like I lost. 
because the other guy was very powerful. He might have been equally powerful to me, and he landed blows that really hurt, you know, breaking ribs when they land. Um, I, there were fights where I pissed blood afterwards because I took a shot to the kidney, and phew, that is not a fun day. Now, I will say for myself, because I got a little half, half a little, a little bit of brag here, I never won a fight by decision. And I actually take pride in that. I never won a fight by decision. I either beat my opponent uh, definitively or I lost. And like I said, I lost. I had a losing record. Somebody has to. Everyone always has these amazing records. Everyone's like, I'm 17 and 2. Like, you never see somebody with a losing record. Um, but I, I had a losing record. And that's not... I don't fucking care. Um, the point to it, though, is that I never won a fight by decision. I lost fights by decision. Um which I always feel like is bullshit. We should just add an extra round or two and just keep going till someone loses. But in any case, the point being, get stronger. You know, it's funny to me. I uh, I lost this fight. This is one of the best moments of my whole life, actually. Um, I had this fight, and I fought this kid. He was at West Point, and he was a Golden Glove champ. He, he went to West Point. He was very, very good. Uh, his first name was John. And... Um, I remember fighting this guy. He was he actually went to a school that was near me, of all things, uh, when I was growing up. He, he went to North Allegheny High School, which was, you know, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes away from where I grew up. And uh, so I, I run into this guy later in life. Both of us are Pittsburgh guys. You know, we're from Pittsburgh. And uh, I fight this guy. And he was definitely, um, he, he outclassed me. He just outclassed me. He was so much better. He, he moved better, better footwork. Um just all around better fighter okay but I went toe to toe with him I didn't get knocked out I didn't like get you know I didn't get my ass handed to me in the, in the way that like you know this dude just walked through me it was a pretty good fight uh, I still lost by decision okay and you know whatever you lose by decision sometimes and that's fine he, 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 he deserved it he deserved the win you know had we gone multiple more rounds you know like I've mentioned just before we should add more rounds he probably would have worn me out and just knocked me out at that point anyways uh this is the part that's important so the fight's over and you know um i don't have any animosity against this guy i don't fucking know him this isn't like these weird grudge matches where you see two boxers that absolutely hate each other i just met this guy for the first time you know right before i fought him so uh, i don't have any weird you know grudge against this guy and we we had a good fight it was a clean fight it was a clean fight. Like, I can't even complain. It's not like he did anything shitty. Um, it was a very clean fight. He won. Fair and square. After the fight's over, you know, I'm talking to my coach, Joe, and, you know, we're just shooting shit, and I'm just saying, you know, where I think I screwed up, and he's telling me where I screwed up. And this guy comes over and wants to shake my hand again after the fight's over, and he says to me, dude, I got to tell you, I have had so many fights, you know, this guy is a golden glove champ. He says to me, you are the hardest hitter I've ever been up against. He says, every time you landed a punch, he's like, it fucking hurt. He's like, you are a hard hitter. I take that as a huge compliment. So I don't care that I lost the fight. The fact that this guy came up to me afterwards and told me how hard I hit, I took that as a massive compliment. Okay. Um, there's something to be said about that. And I will tell you right now, I've, I've explained this to people a thousand times before. How do you get stronger and, and throw harder punches? The jerk. Jerks and push presses. I did tons of them. And that is how I built that power. I do throws. I'm not even good at throwing. But how many boxers do you know that throw the shot put? I throw kegs. It's a strongman event. <laughs> I throw kegs. Um, I like snatches. I like cleans. But I really think that the jerk and the push press are two of the most important movements. And I know you're like, oh, that's overhead movement. And like somehow, what, you have to bench press because a punch goes forward? No, you, you can bench as well. I'm not telling you don't bench. You should probably close grip bench. I don't think your wide grip bench is helping you. I don't. Uh, but a close grip bench... Certainly, you're going to build more muscle, right? But the point being here, that when you learn how to punch properly, it's a full body movement. You use your legs. So we drive through the leg, 
and transfer that power into our arm and our arm fires forward and pow, it's a lot like a jerk. That explosive pulse strength. You can find Stu McGill talking about this. Fighters who hit hard, they pulse their strength. So, a jerk is a great movement for pulsing that strength. And it also helps to do a lot of jumps, plyometrics, things like that. Because if your legs are powerful and explosive and you sprint well, I don't do road work, I run sprints. Um, this makes your legs stronger. I squat heavy, I do cleans, I do snatches, I do jerks, I do push presses, a lot of power movements. And surprise, surprise, power movements make you more powerful. And so you wanna get stronger and more explosive and more violent. And this will make a big difference. I swear to you, whether you're in MMA or you're in boxing or even judo, I can throw people. I throw people and I have shitty technique. Some people can throw you because they have beautiful technique. I, Master Kim uh, at the University of Pittsburgh, this old man uh, threw me, no problem, because his technique is perfect. My technique is not perfect, but I can outmuscle people sometimes and that means I can throw them, okay? Get stronger. What a shocker. Um, and I don't really care. Like, we could be talking about football here. You know, how hard do you want to hit somebody? Hockey, how hard do you want to hit somebody? If you're playing a contact sport, get stronger, get more powerful. Do the Olympic lifts. For God's sake, do the Olympic lifts. I don't care if all you do is a power clean. That's all I did. When I was 14, I learned how to power clean. Power cleans are all I, had, I did. I didn't even learn how to snatch till I was, oh gosh, uh, 26 or 27. By the time I, I was, yeah way past my hockey career by the time I learned how to snatch. Before that, all I ever did was power cleans, and that was more than enough for me to be able to hit people really hard. Get low, drive with your legs, and just slam people. Um, it also helped that I finally hit puberty at one point, and I grew, because uh, you know, no matter how many power cleans that I did at the age of 14, I was still like five feet tall and 90 pounds. Um, so that didn't work real well being that tiny. But, you know, by the time I was 5'10 and, you know, got up to 185 pounds, well, now when I hit people, um, I hit people. Get stronger. That's the answer. So, you know, uh, movie review, Creed 3 sucked. It was an absolute shit story. Uh, Creed 2 was good, though. I really liked Creed 2. That's why I watched Creed 3. Um, but, yeah, this whole idea that you're just going to out-technique your way to victory... Dude, you still better be able to knock people out when you land the punch. So, get stronger.